wakurugenzi kuna mfungwa pale anaitwa Robert Vick Robert Vick amekaa pale jela akaona hii maisha iwezi akaamua hapa lazima tutoke liwe liwalo by fire by force akakaa chini akapiga strategy yake mufti na kila kitu aka execute perfectly before long alikuwa on the other side of the fence of his prison <laughs> baridi kamutandika proper he had no choice but to go back kagongea fund akamwambia fund alikuwa nimetoroka na kasahau koti naweza nisaidia na koti yako tafadhali if, if you don't mind kama utaona mbaya ntashukuru <laughs> Mpiga picha wangu hapa ananifurahisha sana bana ananiuliza huyo <laughs> mtu ambaye alitoka akarudi sababu hakuwa na koti alipelekwa kotini <laughs> Ananifurahisha sana mpiga picha wangu <laughs> Acha tuelekee kabla muda utupe kisogo ah, Wakurugenzi ah moment ah ya ya young and stupid fresh out the kitchen come come leo salipo ameniwekea eh Jeans kwa hii kikombe ya wapenda nao. Na mpatia memories. Hai. Salimo zidi kama nyinyi ni wale waga mnajipeleka ka date. <laughs> Unaenda unajinunulia flowers, unasiji surprise. Oh my god, I can't believe I did this for me. Unajipeleka ka date mahali hapo. Oh man. Must be rough. What wa mnyama mko single how is it coming along Although those are yamski kitu kuna joto tuongee mwezi wa saba. <laughs> ah tuko na mgeni kwa set leo anaitwa Faith Faith wewe uko na mtu Pia wewe ni wakulalia ngumi unajifunika kofi eh? It's tough out here tunaweka kwa maombi hey. mm mfungulia mlango kila wakati <laughs> so, babu, there is nobody on the other side <laughs> ah mtaonekaniwa anyway guys ah wacha tuanze hiki pindi kama kiateka uko na funguo zako zote za maisha hapa all your life keys <laughs> Ay ay ay. Wengine wakiwa na kiss uko na kiss. Okay. Leo wadao niko na story nyingine ya ku <laughs> ya kutamausha. Ai, watu wanakapitia hapa nje my friend. Now. Yule aliniambia nipige story aliniambia tafadhali mkuru usichome. Ukisema tu hii story ili happen county fulani watajua ni mimi. So we funikia ngori. Hakuna haja useme majina, ma location nini. Wewe piga tu story ndio watu wajue ile masaibu ilinikumba but usinianike anike itachoma. Yeah. So sababu sisi si chomists wacha tu, tutaweka hizo anonymous. Na huyu kalameni Hey, hey. Akiwa tu pale mtaani mtaani nini amekuja ameangukia binti hatari. Eh unajua wale mabinti unalaga huyu ako way above my league. Huyu hata hata kuniangalia mara mbili hawezi. Then huyo mdema anakuambia ni aje unaka fit je namba yako? Haya. Aka score. Sasa kijana hapa alikuwa amejitolea kuhakikisha ya kwamba huyu binti anapatiwa ile lifestyle binti anafaa apatiwe. Hata kama inamaanisha tutakopa, tutachukua maloan, tutaiba, lazima huyu binti ajue mimi, mimi kama ndume pia nimetosha mboga kivyangu. So mambo ikakuwa iko sawa, wakaanza kuongeleshana ongeleshana pale ni nini 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 nini. Siku moja umrembo akamuuliza na wewe, kwani unaniogopanga ama? Ah, mbona? Ai, 
Sainge kwa ndume mwingine hata angekuwa shan peleka kwake kitambo ni it's been weeks hata sijui unaishingi wapi nini kila time tunakutana gatu kwa restaurant huko nini si hata siku moja ukasirike hata nikami hivi tu pige ka Netflix hapo tu chill kidogo tu sikie fit akaambia na mambo na panga hiyo mikakati niko na brother yangu waga naishi na yeye asikii vizuri akishapona tu arudi home ah lazima nitakuita Wacha nikwambie huyo kijana alikaa hapo akipiga mahesabu huyu msichana nitamfurahisha namna gani Siwezi mleta hapa kwa kabin kangu noma hapa nimeweka magazeti kwa ukuta hapana huyu lazima atafutiwe mandhari mandhari yani unaingia tu hivi unasikia yes ah, yes hapa mambo mufti mambo shwari Na, pale mahali huyo jamaa alikuwa anaishi hata si watu nyingi karibu sana tu pale kulikuwa na unajua hizi familia uwaga wanakuja nyumbani weekend then sunday jioni ama mande asubuhi wanachangamka wanarudi Nairobi wanafanya kazi then friday jioni ama saturday asubuhi wanakuja tena si unajua wale watu wanapendaga nyumbani sana hivyo so ilikuwa ni familia pale wako na nyumba safi sana a very very nice beautiful bungalow wamejenga hapo e, mzee na bibi wanafanya kazi Nairobi watoto ni wakubwa wako university e, i think mwingine anafanya kazi if i'm not wrong so walikuwa na kanyumba kao safi hapo wanakujaga wanaingia weekend nini nini bas na wanatoka wanaenda so huyu kijana aka discover ah, hii nyumba ha watu hawakuangi si wanatokaga wanaenda kazi Nairobi then wanarudi weekend mtu ninataka niweke kwa mfuko sasa ni huyo kayateka huyo huyo ndio atanipiga gangster points zangu vile inafaa so mjamaa akaanza urafiki na kayateka ah kayateka uko sa- umeamka tu salama juu ya kuamka salama kula msimu yako safi gongo mind choma usikie vizuri Ah, maisha iko sawa, safi tutaona na jioni. Jioni yakitoka, eh, ukieteka, uko sala, umeshinda fiti. Ah, jioni kushinda fiti. Eh, gongo wa mbili yako safi. Enda pia nunua, nunua tu vitu hapo usikie fiti, gonga kachupa. Ai, ai, keteka na nice. Mpaka kila time akiwa na mjamaa, unaona? Eh, anaingia. Ah, hapa najua naenda kupona. So mjamaa akamtengeneza tengeneza hivyo for a couple of days nini nini. Then akaamua sasa wakati ndo sasa akaenda kambi yake teka sasa mtu wangu nimenotice eh hey, hii hao yako unaishiki na upweke hapa sana hey, rada kaambia bana unajua eh hey, jo mdosi wangu anakujaga tu mara moja moja hey, na ni weekend in fact saa nyingine hata akishikana sana Nairobi anaweza kosa kukuja hiyo weekend akuje hiyo wiki nyingine sasa mimi waga nakalisha tu nyumba hapa peke yangu imagine eh hey, na sasa siwezi toka sababu nyumba haina mtu siwezi toka na sasa unajua mimi ni mtu bana nimeoa. Sasa unajua saa nyingine nakaa hapa na mafikra mtu yangu wako peke yake huko kwa nyumba. Sijui ni nani wanamtembelea huko. Ina ni gadhabisha sana. Na sisiki vizuri sifurai. Lakini sababu mimi ni mtu napenda kufanya kazi na uadilifu. Siwezi achilia hii nyumba ya boss. Na ningekuwa mtu mbaya ningekuwa hata nimeita huyo bibi ya kuja hapa tukae na lakini nikasema wacha tu nitangoja tu siku yangu ya live ikifika nikimbie nyumbani nione mama tusikie vizuri basi alafu nirudi niendelee na kazi Jamaa akamwambia wacha nikwambie hii dunia haingojagi mtu Kama hauwezi pata wakati ya kuenda kuona mama kuna mtu hapo ako na hiyo wakati Ah utapata ameonwa ameonwa mbaya sana ningekuwa wewe ah ningeenda tafuta mbinu uende na mimi niko na idea moja mufti sana hii utapenda mimi naonaje sababu shida yako kubwa kabisa ni kuacha hii nyumba ikiwa haina mtu sababu wakora hapa wakigundua hii nyumba haina mtu itakuwa ni blanda how about nikupatie one day kimbia enda ona mama mimi niwachie nyumba ni kuchungia one night tu mchana usiku tulale asubuhi tuamke we ukiwa tayari kurudi urudi mimi nichomoke niende si wewe unajua hata mpaka mahali naishi naishi pale eh hakuna kitu inaweza fanyika ukikuja hata upate kuna kitu haiko sawa niulize naishi pale unajua hata kwangu eh hey, so jako na hiyo idea ni mufti yani unataka kuniambia naweza naweza lala kwangu leo na nisijali kuhusu hii nyumba ah usijaribu kujali mimi niko hapa sababu yako wewe kimbia ona bibi hii iko sawa sawa 
Bas, soja ame nice deadly. Ameenda amepigia mpaka bibi, amemwambia sasa leo nakuja. Ya, yeah. wekelea maji ya pizza na kuja na pepperoni. Leo tutafurahi. Eh, akaambia kijana ni aje wewe kifunguo ni kuachie kwako ama utakujia hapa tutafanya namna gani. Akaambia ina mambo, wewe ukifunga tu hivi nilete funguo kwangu, eh, jioni jioni nitaingia. Kiateka akaenda akapanga mambo yake safi, akafunga nyumba vizuri, akakuja akapatia kijana funguo akamwambia hii ni ya kufungua hapa. Hii ni ya kufungua hapa. Hii ni ya kufungua hapa. Ikifika saa mbili na dakika fulani unawasha taa fulani. Ikifika sijui saa ngapi ni nini, nini unazima pump fulani. Unajua vitu zote makiateka uaga wanafanya. Jamaa hata hasikizi. Ye yeah, ako excited sababu leo ni leo. Leo tunataka kujifurahisha kwa nyumba ya wenyewe mbaya. Asha afanya mambo yake ameshapiga simu kule. Mrembo ameambiwa wewe umekuwa ukisema sana unataka kukuja nini nini. Sasa brother yangu ametoka lakini anarudi. Amenipatia kama a day and a half peke yangu nikae tu ni, ni chill. So nataka nikulete ukam to chill na wewe. Then kesho wewe uende eh, bro wangu akirudi tuendelee. Ile wakati bro wangu atahama kabisa atoke hapa. Ah, sasa wewe this will be your permanent residence. Hapa patakuwa kwako. Bas. Mrembo ame nice mbaya. Akamwambia ina mambo na kam. Unaonaje? Tuchukue take out ama tupike. Akaambia ah, vitu za kupika ni kibao. Fridge imejaa nini? We kuja tutaandaa. Ai! Ndema nasikia hivyo anasema yes. I have arrived. Hapa nimefika. Msichana huko ameenda amejigonga makeup yake kilo saba. amepaka kila kitu eyeliner, red cross, lipstick, ni, ni kila kitu inaweza pakwa amepaka. Ametoka hapo ameweka tunguo toa kwa kabaga dogo. Unajua Faith mnanishangazaga sana. Unatembea na bag inatoshana hivi, lakini ndani ya hii bag kuna life, yani support equipment. Kila kitu iko hapa ndani. Meko, kuna sijui wire za stima. Oh, nguo za wiki tatu, nini kila kitu amejipanga nayo sawa sawa amekuja. Amejua leo tunaenda kusoma Biblia mpaka asubuhi. There's no stopping us. Amekuja amefika vizuri, amelakiwa kwa stage na mjamaa. Wameshikana mkono, wanaenda waki stroll pole 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 wakielekea pale nyumbani. Kwanza anafika kwa gate anapata ni zile gate ziko na pillars mbili alafu pale juu kuna turungu. Ah, ajua hii rungu haiko kwa gate peke yake. It's going to be a good day. Kidogo kidogo wameingia pale kwa mlango wameenda ai msichana anaangalia mandhari kwa compound anaona mandhari imeti. Kama nje kuna kaa hivi na ndani kuna kaa namna gani? Mlango imeenda imefunguliwa. Kijana amefumble na keys hapo kwa mlango kidogo sababu si nyumba yake. But amengangana amefungua. Wameingia. Msichana amerusha kwa kila kitu yake kila mahali, ameruka kwa viti huko, e, TV ndio hiyo imewashwa. Ai, kuna mpaka wifi iko hii nyumba, TV iko na mpaka Netflix nini? Yaani kila kitu unahitaji kupapasa msichana iko kwa hiyo nyumba. It's fully equipped. Wameenda wameamua ah since ni kajioni jioni unaona je si tuingie hapa jikoni tuvamie fridge tutengeneze tengeneze mavitu tupike pike eh tukule tusikie poa wanaingia kwa fridge wanapata kuna kila kitu wanahitaji wanaingia jikoni wanaandaa anda, mambo yao wanakaa pale wanakula wakitazama tazama mambo yao pale kwa tv eh, mambo ya maankuli inaisha wame watch tv imeisha imefika ule wakati wa kufanya ile kitu ambayo imewaleta hapa pamoja. Nice. Pepper One inaanzia hapo kwa living room wanafanya Pepper One vizuri comprehension, wanamaliza sawa sawa. Pepper Two inapelekwa Mascam wanaingia pale kwa master bedroom huko. Sasa wakifanya, wakifanya Pepper One hapa, magwanda yao yote waliwacha hapa kwa sitting room. Wakati wanaenda kufanya Pepper Two ya practical huko ndani wako vile walizaliwa. Uchi wa mnyama wameingia huko wamefunga ka bedroom zoo wamerudisha tu mlango na wanaendelea na biashara yao he sijui intelligence ilifika wapi aje kwa wakora ikawa hit ule mjamaa uaga anachunga hii nyumba leo hayuko wakora wakajiambia hii nyumba tumekuwa tukitaka ku harvest for a very long time i think tonight is the night wacha tuingie huko tufanye mambo yetu Mjama hakuna place nyingine alikuwa amefunga kwa hiyo nyumba. E, hii mlango ya kuingia kwa the main, the main door pale hakuwa amefunga. Milango za bedrooms hakuwa amefunga. Alikuwa amefunga tu main gate peke yake. 
but huku kwingine very accessible so wakora wakakuja wakafanya ile kitu salimu wanafanyaga akiingia kwake waka discover ah hii imefungwa hii hii this one because it sawa wakaanza kufanya nini kuruka fence hapo wakurugenzi ndio mambo yalianza kuenda segem nyingi katika pilka pilka ya kuruka fence right next door kuna mzee amekamouflage tu kwa balcony anasoma taifa leo ana pressure na mtu akiangalia kwa jirani anaona kikosi cha watu watatu wanaruka ukuta na yeye anajua huyu keyateka wa hapa chini so anafanya nini anachukua simu anagonga muteja sababu keyateka pia yeye huko mahali yuko ako chemistry practical zimeshika mbaya ni mabiuret biuret pipet pipet biuret pipet ai kametamba wewe Hey, osmosis. Now, huyu jirani ameona huyu kiateka ashiki simu amepanic. Sasa atapigia nani mwingine? Si anapigia mwenye nyumba sababu ni majirani wako na namba za each other. In fact, wako na mpaka WhatsApp group mahali wana communicating. Message imetumwa kwa WhatsApp. Eh, hey, naona watu wanaruka ukuta hapa kwa akina nani? Are you aware? Eh, hey, hey, watu wajui wajui wajui. Kidogo baba nani ame respond oh my god mtu wangu nimeona message yako nimejaribu kupigia keteka wangu ni mteja aki e, ni pigieni polisi sababu hao ni wakora e, kama mmeona watu wakiruka fence ni wakora hakuna kitu kingine so very fast polisi wanagongewa simu polisi ya wachelewi wanapata ripoti wakiwa pale kwa police station teke teke wanaingia kwa mariamu yao wamejiami na marungu safi na bunduki zao wanakuja visu wanakuja wanafika wapi pale kwa mlango na wanatulia hapo wanaambiwa wajamaa wameruka pale ndani ya fence na ni kama wanafanya fanya mambo yao huko ndani polisi mmoja akasema hao watu tukipiga kelele wajue tuko hapa itakuwa blanda wacha pia sisi tupande ukuta turuke the other side twende tuwakute anawares jirani akaulizwa ah watu wakiruka fence walikuwa wamebeba vitu za kushtua kama mabunduki nini ah hapana ni mmoja tu ako na kitu inakaa mbao eh, au wengine wako mkono tupu hakuna kitu wamebeba ah very nice hapo sawa makarao wakaruka ukuta wote watatu pa 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 sasa ule kijana wakati alikuwa pepa tu pale hakufunga mlango yoyote so wale wakora walikuja kama wameingia ndani wanaona hakuna mtu bas wakaacha hata kuongea na sauti ya chini sasa wanaongea vizuri wakisikika watu wakiwa pepa tu pale ndani ya bedroom wanasikia oh my gosh kuna sauti ya watu huku hawaezi toka sababu gani nguo ziko pale sitting room walibeba beba i think somewhere katikati ya mtiani walisikia njaa mtu akakuja jikoni akabeba ile chakula kidogo akarudi nayo pepa tu kwa bedroom so kitu wako nayo huko kwa bedroom ni sahani za chakula imebaki baki na tu glasi hapo tu juice and nothing else sasa wamesikia watu wameingia kwa mlango wameingia chini ya kitanda wamejificha sababu hao wanafikiria pengine ni wenye nyumba wakora wameingia hawana habari kuna watu chini ya kitanda mvungu wametoka hawa wamewaharibia exams na unajua inakuaga 2 hours 40 minutes eh is 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 blanda wameingia au wakiwa pilka pilka yao ya kupanga vitu wanapanga vitu wanaweka kwa carpet tv kwa carpet microwave kwa carpet kila kitu kwa carpet hiyo carpet inafungwa hivi kama ni ni wanatoka nayo yote full mzuka so wameweka vitu kwa carpet tv kidogo kidogo mlango ina unajua kale ka sauti inatoanga wanaona tu mazol ya bunduki <laughs> inaingia kwa mlango na majamaa wanasema kama unajua wewe siwa hapa lala chini of course ukishaona bunduki na karawa ameshaingia mpaka kwa mlango kitu ya kwanza unajiambia ni huyu jamaa yuko peke yake so hakuna kona ya hii nyumba naweza toka Nipone of course wamezunguka hii nyumba yote hapa hakuna ujanja ni kupiga magoti na kulala chini kwa floor very fast so vijana waliti hakukuwa na fight no firearm was fired nothing makosa ilifanyika pale ambapo chief inspector aliambia fande hebu piga sweep ya hii nyumba 
Ha watu wananiambia wa, wako peke yao mko tu nyinyi wawili peke eh hapana tumeambiwa mumeruka mkiwa watatu huyo mtu watatu wako wapi kumbe mtu watatu walikuwa wamejificha mahali kwa choo wamesikia wakichachiwa hapa ata yeye yako kwa bafu amejificha pale ndani so ame cross fingers na kila kitu amekaza haga ana hope aki hakuna mtu ataingia hapa so afande nani ameanza sweep ya rooms zote kwa nyumba before afikie ule mjamaa ako kwa choo ya one of the bedrooms ameenda ameingia master amepiga pale hivi kwa curtains ndani ya bafu na choo hakuna mtu akienda kutoka aka realize kuna chakula iko hapa na to do with to wheelie akaangalia chini ya mvungu akapata mayama <laughs> Uti wa mnyama wako chini ya kitanda wanatetemeka kweli kweli akawaambia ah, 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 ah. very very fast toka tokeni tokeni nani tokeni mimi i have seen thieves and thugs with audacity lakini hii yenu hii yenu ni next level yani nyinyi mnavunja nyumba ya mtu mnaingia jikoni yake mnakula mnaenda mnakula Alafu mnataka kukula mali yake hapo sitting room nimeona mmezipanga kwa carpet hata muna adabu tokeni kujeni hapa vile muko msijaribu nini sasa you can imagine the shock on the thugs faces wakiona wasa wanatoka bedroom wakiwa ndevi <laughs> na hawana intel wanajiuliza ai kwa nini tumeruka hii ukuta watu wangapi makarao ni makofi zinatembea tu eh? nimeuliza muko nini na already tumeshapata wengi anaambia afande mazemi hawa semi si wajui yes atakuwa nao atuwajui nyinyi ni kina nani <laughs> so kidogo kidogo ule afande anapiga nini amepata ule wabafu guy afande wanatoka ni wengi ni wengi hawa watu kumbe hata wako watatu oh, oh, oh. wakalalishwa hapo chini viboko viboko zikatembea nini ni before police were discover ile game imechezwa hapa ai watu walikuwa wamekula viboko proper So wakabanduliwa teke teke wakaingizwa kwa Mariamu very fast mpaka kwa police station kule The following day ndio caretaker amefurahi ame mbaya <laughs> ana habari Wa anafika anapata mzee mwenye nyumba ako area mm, simu si ilipigwa mzee aliingia kwa gari aka drive usiku akakuja mpaka hapo Wa ni sasa aanze kujibu mashtaka Luckily for them Keateka alikuja akawatoa kwa ngori hao wawili sababu Keateka alikaa makasema ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba nilikuwa nimemiss bibi hao huyu jamaa akakuja akaniongelesha na akani convince beyond reasonable doubt why it is important for me to see my wife na nikamwachia nyumba nikaenda sikujua hata yeye akona import kumbe hata yeye alikuwa anatafuta maskan that's how hao watu wawili walijipata hapa Hawa watatu hawa sijui hawa, hawa nashuku ni wakora ukweli ukweli eh hawa mnaweza finya hawa wawili kwacha neni tu nao na hivyo ndio hawa wasee waliponea like keateka angeamua tu kwa mjinga aseme ai mimi hata nilikuwa nimegonjeka nikaenda hospitali sijui hawa ni kina nani eh mambo yao ingekuwa imeishia hapo bahati tu keateka ali risk job yake akasema vile kulienda eh kazi naye alipoteza lakini at least aliokoa watu wawili Huyo msichana anataka kujua sana kama communication iliendelea na huyo mjama. I'm curious. Kama unajua hii story ni yako please talk to us. <laughs> Our number is right there on the screen. <laughs> hey, mume kapitia. And this is not the only case. Siji kama mulisikia kesi kama hii pia wakurugenzi. Somewhere eh liko utawala ama ni bypass. Siji kama ulisha sikia story sti. Guy, I'm just sasa Ah, I said nimemaliza, nimemaliza. But wacheni ni wapatie tu nini. Sasa pale utawala, eh, ilikuwa utawala mani ruai. Vijana, same same story. Washagundua hii nyumba, hawa sea wako. Na wako na nini kwa compound? Swimming pool. Wakaenda wakaitana, wakaiba pickup ya mzazi. Wakaingia kwa pickup. Ah, hii kitu ilikuwa mpaka pale kwa DCI. Hamko na hii kitu aje pale kwa pickup ya mzazi wakakuja nayo vizuri wakaipaki nje ya compound wakaruka fence wakaingia pale wakatoa nguo yote wakaingia kwa pool mnakumbuka huyu mzee wa hii county nyingine na taifa leo kwa balcony same story hapo next kuna jirani tu wako kwa balcony usiku anashanga hii nyumba hapa next ainaga watoto mbona hao teenagers wanaruka ruka huko na okay walikuwa maybe in their 20s Mbona wasoa kwa uchi kwa puli ya huyu mjamaa? 
so akakol kidogo kidogo makarao akaitwa makarao akambiwa ni aje kuna invasion kwa how next hapa kujeni makarao akakuja wamejipanga sawa sawa mabunduki nini wakakuja na zile mandai zao zilitwa grand tiger bas so hawa hawakufanya kama hao wengine wali ati walikuja pole pole a a hawa walikuja walifika mahali karibu wakapiga ile siren yao Uwe, ya kuwalata hawa watu kumekujo my friend akukua na time ya kuvaa kila mtu alikuwa tu anashika nguo wenye walitoboa kama utoboi nayo nayo hivyo hivyo wakaruka fence wakiwa ndeve wakaenda wakaingia kwa pickup yao ya mzazi na wakatoka mbio azu wanatoka hivi grand tiger ya makarao ndio ile kidogo kidogo ikakuwa he hawa se wanataka kuhepa na wako na gari hawa ni dangerous kama wako na gari hata bunduki wako nayo so makarao kadunini wakatoa gun wakaanza kufire eh, bullets kwa miguu pale So aso alikimbizana kwa hiyo bypass ya utawala huko makarao wakatoboa kushoot <laughs> kushoot miguu pa 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 mazee wametoka hapo jo wameshaingia formation kila kitu wanajua it's about to go down hapa ni noma hapa ni noma wana kama wana karibia ndai wanafungua mazee ku point manini wanapata majamaa wa kondeve <laughs> Warembo wawili na mandume wawili wako hapo wako ndebe deadly ana shindwa what mnafanya nini <laughs> so waka explain jo maze tulikuwa tumekamsu imoko hiyo haoni ni kidogo kidogo teke teke mpaka kwa karao ndani straight waende wajitetee walikuwa wanafanya nini kwa compound ya wenye <laughs> but yao eh, wazazi walitokelezea i think wako corroborate story sababu what a pick up ni ya mzazi ya one of them lakini unajua ukishaingia pale kwa neti utokangi free eh ai pesa na ilibaki kwa police station nyingi kila mtu aliyesabiwa pesa yake na iko kidogo na hivyo ndio wakapona ah, vitu mnafanya hizi towns mnanishangaza wa kurgenzi mkifanya hizi mischief zimubaki na nguo basi angalau hata wakati mko exam na unajua uko kwa nyumba si yako usitoe kila kitu wewe no kwani wewe ujui ile tactic ya kuuma shati hey, we una una shanti <laughs> bas trouser ikipita magoti una risk iweke hapa above the knee above the knee una una shanti alafu in case kitu yote kitokea ni kuachilia meno na kuvuta tu juu na una mimi una risk sana bana what's wrong na hapo ndio tumefungia kipindi wadao hiki wabamba sana iteni mbogi hey, nairobi ah It's been long since you skied Saudi. Even from Nascar. Even the Suski I'm talking. What are the factors that are affecting you and your relationships? Poor infrastructure. Poor infrastructure. Competition from older women or younger women. Na watu ka nini? Mnaona lakini bado watu wanafuata DM. Ah. Sende kutufuata sisi ya mimi. Ah. Solo dates pia huweza. Inaweza? Unajinunulia maua, alafu unashtuka nikasi wewe ulinunua hiyo maua. 